we have a rainstorm today so we just got a break in all the rain um, so hopefully I'm running out here really quick to do our garden tour hopefully it stays okay and we're able to get through it all um, but I did cheat and I just did a quick little look through on my own and we have a lot to harvest today First up is our bed that is filled with flowers in the front where we harvested all of our garlic last week. Um, because of all the sun, the garden has grown so much in the last week. So our marigolds are really taking off. Um, some of the cosmos seeds are popping up. They take a little bit longer to germinate, I think. Um, but I'm gonna be really excited when those start to fill up the bed. Have a lot of peppers growing especially our chili peppers um, and then we don't have any red candy canes yet and we do have a few Anaheim peppers that are starting to get big but you do want these to be about six to ten inches before harvesting so we could probably grab those next week I don't know if you guys remembered us talking about these three tomato plants, but they got hit really hard by the frost. And there was actually weeks where they weren't showing any growth. They were very purple um, and we really didn't think they were gonna make it, but we added some fertilizer directly below them and they are finally looking much healthier. Their normal color is coming back in and they're starting to grow and some are even starting to put off little flowers. Our sugar snap peas here are doing much better than the ones on my patio, uh, mostly because there aren't any critters bothering them. So I'm actually going to dig up two of these and transplant them into my garden. Um, this row is doing really well. This one is struggling a little bit. I'm not sure why I planted all of it at the exact same time, um, but you can see there are a few big sized ones. Other ones are just a little bit smaller. So it looks like they may have gotten covered up by the mulch on accident. So I'm just gonna make sure those are uncovered and getting full sun. Our cucumbers I think have like quadrupled in size if y'all go back to last week's video this is insane how big these have gotten guys I mean they were like down here last week and so this just shows how much like vining cucumbers melons squashes just can really take off in such little time they're not showing any flowers yet, um, which is good. I want them to focus on getting bigger right now instead of trying to set fruit. Um, they are starting to latch on to climb up. And so with teaching things to climb up vertically, they will want to like naturally kind of try to spread out. So 
so far they look like they're doing really well that they're already reaching up here um, but if they try to spread down horizontally um, it just if you just help guide them up through it it'll teach them where to go This pole bean is doing really well. It's not crawling up much further yet, but it is starting to set off some of our first beans. These are gonna be long purple beans. These are actually Baker Creek Farms purple potted beans. Um, so they'll be fully purple and long and they're going to be delicious um, to add as like, I like steaming my beans and eating them on the side with um, whatever our dinner is. So we can't wait to see this grow. On to our second garden bed, which this is where I'm gonna be doing a lot of harvesting today. There's so much ready. And guys, look at these sunflowers. Oh my gosh. And they're just gonna keep growing. You can kind of see up at the top where they're wanting to start setting off some blooms, but they're just gonna be so beautiful. Cucumbers are doing really well on this side also. So I'm gonna show you is this one right here is wanting to grow this way. So I'm just gonna pick him up. So see, like he's much taller than he looks. And I'm just gonna weave him, ooh, some grip to it. So probably stick this one up too. And then just kind of gonna wrap his little tendrils up around it just to ones that we planted and I actually thought it was dying and so I um, planted a bunch more but he's doing really really well so now he'll try to climb up that and they'll get a pretty far distance up the way almost all the way over on this side we have the exact same tomato plants that were on the other side and as you can see there's a huge huge difference between both sides so this is just where the frost really got the other ones um, so these are actually already producing fruit so let's take a look at that okay I know it's hard to kind of tell but this monstrosity that's branch is coming all the way out there is our cherry tomato and it's starting to put off. Look at these guys. So exciting. They're gonna be so good. And there's so many popping up on this cherry already. The next few I'm gonna go through are actually our cold weather crop that we planted. Um, like early spring and since we actually had a spring this year they are still doing so well um, just with a really mild spring um, and so far a pretty mild summer so I'm really excited because I didn't expect these to last as long and do as well um, so I get to harvest a lot to take home today. So we have a lot of kale and collard greens to pick. I'm really pumped about cooking these collard greens up this week. So let's harvest some of this. Okras are doing well. Brussels sprouts growing, has some little babies on it. I'll show you those. Um, no babies on the okra yet, but these are gonna get so tall, guys. Probably about five feet, and they're just gonna really take off. The sun is popping out, and it's getting hot and humid because of all that rain but I wanted to show you we have our first tomatoes 
these are on those potted tomatoes that we have. Um, the ones that I'm not sure exactly what variety they are because my mother-in-law's friend gave them to us. So we'll just wait and find out. Like I don't know if they're cherries or big ones. Some zucchini baby. check all the leaves thoroughly and scrape them all off um, to make sure that they don't start damaging these zucchinis. Sweet potatoes are doing well. They still got a while before we would be harvesting. What we're looking for is for when the leaves start to die back and that's showing the signs that the potatoes are ready. Also last time we planted zinnia seeds all down the front of these beds and those are definitely starting to pop up and it's going to be so beautiful when they start growing. suckers so you can pick those off and what I did was some other ones I picked off and transplanted in the soil. That may or may not work. It's a hit or miss but we may have more cherry tomatoes if it works. We had a wardrobe change because the sun came out and it was smothering out here um, but I can hear the rain coming so it's about to start pouring again which is so good for the garden so we're gonna keep it short and sweet today um so much growing and i'm so excited it's so beautiful and i can't i look so forward to seeing this every weekend um this is where the hard work of starting things from seed nurturing them planting it making beds this is where it all pays off <laughs> 